Welcome back to the second video. I really appreciate you coming back to check out the second trainee video, the Dwayne Wade sidestep. This is also a great move because it allows you to change direction inside the key area without having to put the ball on the floor. Now before we get into it, let's quickly recap the 7 step process to learning and mastering a new skill that I explained in video 1. Step 1. You want to model yourself after the vest, in this case Dwayne Wade. Step 2. You want to visualize yourself performing the move in your mind. Step 3. You want to practice without the basketball, concentrating on your footwork. Step number 4. You want to practice with the ball but no basket yet. Concentrate on your footwork and timing with the ball. Step number 5. You finally get to shoot on the hoop. Step 6. You want to take a video of yourself and compare it to the model, in this case Dwayne Wade. And step number 7. You try the move in a game. Now let's look at some game footage of Dwayne Wade performing the 1-2 sidestep. As you can see, he can go either way and finish with either hand. It's very hard to guard. It allows him to beat his man and then step around the help side defender with ease. We're always looking for certain tendencies. How does he move his feet? Where's his body balance? How does he release the wall? Now let's get to work. The first thing we're going to do is do a quick strength exercise just to build our balance. After that we're going to start doing the layup without the ball, just working on our footwork. Always think left hand drive, left hand finish, right hand drive, right hand finish. You beat your man and now you're going to step around the help side defender. Now we add the ball, right hand drive, right hand finish. On the way back, we'll go left hand drive, left hand finish. And now we're gonna score, we start on the left wing, First was a baseline drive, finishing to the middle. Next, left wing, right hand drive, finish on the baseline. Now we move to the right wing. First we drive baseline and we finish to the middle. Now we drive middle and we finish on the baseline. Always try to create as much separation as possible. And lastly we want to compare ourselves to the best. Again, not bad. Now it's up to you to head down to the court and practice the Dwayne Wade 1-2 sidestep. Thank you again for watching.